I'd like to explain how the background color works in Flinto for Mac. You may be used to setting the background color of each artboard in Sketch, but in Flinto, there's just one background color for the entire document. So if I click in an empty area of the canvas to deselect everything, you see the document properties here. And one of them is background color. If I change this background color, it changes all of the screens. And if I add some layers into one of these screens, I'll just put a few random rectangles here, and then I'll put a few layers into the other screen. I'll make it a little different, change their color. And now I go into the transition designer. You'll see that even though there's a background color, the screen itself in the transition designer is transparent in the background. And that's because, again, that background color is not a per screen background color, but it's the document background color. Or you can think of it as being the background color of your device. And the reason we don't allow for a per screen background color is because during a transition, you need to decide what is the overall background if you were to maybe move this screen way out. Then during the transition, there's going to be a point where you can see through to the background. And so what color should that be? That's actually what you're setting when you choose a background color for your document in Flinto. So the screens themselves have transparent backgrounds, which is because you need to manage how you want the background color to change from one screen to the other. So you can draw um, a background layer and put that in your screen and choose whichever color you'd like. So I'll make this one blue and I'll put a layer in the other screen and I'll make it green. Now, if I go back to the transition designer, in this case, the two screens just, um, animate as entire screens. And so the background colors move along with them, but I could also do something like pull this background out to the bottom. And then during the transition, maybe Maybe the screen fades out at the end. And so now I have a different kind of effect where the background color is actually fading to green. And because the backgrounds are individual layers, I have control over exactly how those are going to fade or move, or maybe I even want to do like a scale, uh, animation. So that's why we don't have a background per screen. It forces you to decide for yourself how the animation between background colors between screens is going to happen. One other thing to be aware of in sketch, if you set a background color on an artboard, like I'm doing here, that will be imported when you send it to Flinto, that'll be imported with a background layer automatically created. So you can see this screen that had a background on had a background color on the artboard in sketch now has a background layer that's automatically added by Flinto. And behind that is that same document gray color that I set. And then on my other screen where I didn't set a background color in sketch, uh, there's no background.